Hey everybody, we're back. This week we will be covering the Mossberg Patriot Predator in 243. This rifle was used for about seven months and we did prairie dog hunting, coyote shooting, and some of this video is just absolutely fantastic. So, just an overview of the rifle itself. The Mossberg Patriot Predator, there's the varmint cartridges available. We use the 243. And you can see right there the specs. This is a $429 street priced rifle just absolutely amazing the price on this thing and it comes with everything you see there um, in the picture including the rail and we loved it i mean we just we just used the heck out of it and i don't want to wait till the end of the video to tell you we we did really well with this rifle now let me prove it out with what we did at the range which is right here and then in our hunts so the range report basically <clears throat> oh, first off, I'm sorry, let me step in. I mounted a tracked optics, Toric scope to this. You guys, go check out tracked optics. This is one of those companies that flies under the radar and makes excellent optics. And shot glass, the HT glass, it's just excellent for what we do. So, this is the first group. I wanted to use the most popular grain ammo out there. This is the Hornady 100 grain. Yes, these are three shot groups, but that's what we do for hunting. And now here's the Federal 100 grain power shock. Again, excellent group out of this rifle. And then next up, we went ahead and shot the Prairie Enemy um, ammunition from Sierra. This is their 70 grain. This is what we will be using for all the hunts coming up. And lastly, I wanted to use the Nosser 55 grain because the 243 you can shoot a wide range of different weight projectiles. Didn't do that great, but it was good enough. So this is the next step that we did, we were out there at the calf killers contest that we put together in Nevada and I had all my guys together and I said, okay, cash, David, sit down. There's David and shoot this rifle, shoot, shoot a group. I just want to see what happens when you guys shoot it. So the first one to shoot it was David and he's there on bags, hundred yards. And I know this is boring. Bear with me. You can see his shots there. I'm putting this up and letting the video run so people can see it directly from the camera, knowing we didn't fudge anything, that this is the way it shot. Because there's a lot of people that question your ethics out there, and ours is clean as a whistle. And then next up was Cash. Now he used this rest, he'd never used this rest, it was just there at the bench. Probably a mistake, but he shot a great group until the last round, which kind of blew things open. But here you go. See that first round coming up here. You're going to see the second round. And again, you know, on a farm, this is a bench and a range they set up. We ranged everything and verified everything was good. So those rounds are right there. And then that last round you'll see right here. It's kind of blew out. So next up was me. Now I didn't shoot from the bench. I shot and it is legal. I shot from the hood of my forerunner, which I do off of bags often and I'm comfortable there, and these are my groups. Turns out that because I had so much time behind this rifle, I had been shooting and hunting with it before we met up um, for this contest, um, I just shot better. And that just happens. It's not that I'm a better shot than those guys, it's just I have more experience behind it. Then here's our final groups. You can see David's there, 0.66 inch group, and a 0.63 MOA. And you can see cash is down there, the 0.99. And that's because that, that one round that kind of jumped out there a little bit. And then mine is the 0.47 inch, 0.45 MOA. Okay, so this is actual shooting out of this factory rifle. It shot excellent. Every time I shot a group with it, it shot very well. So what do we do after that? We go hunting, of course. And this is going to be some awesome video. So stay tuned, wait till the coyote. I will jump in and comment here and there. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. Hey everybody, Eric from Barmer Magazine. I'm out here with Nor from the Dollar Sportsman, so go check him out. We're in Wyoming, um, Southwest Wyoming, and we're shooting uh, whitetail prairie dogs. So I'm using the Mossberg Patriot Predator uh, the winds right now are probably right around 14, 15 mile per hour. Um, this guy was, I think we're guessing, the last range we had was 187, so it's right about then. So first shot, Nor called it out as high. 
I adjusted, I was holding about four inches into the wind and just held mid body. And you can do that on prairie dogs because they're so, when they're standing up, they're so tall. Um, and if you're using a big enough grain projectile, then it'll hit it and kill it. So this, I was using the 70 grain um, prairie enemy ammo. That's the 70 grain Blitz King from Sierra, which they're not making this because Federal makes it for them and Federal's not making anything but the 55 grain uh, 223 right now. But um, back to the Patriot Predator. Got it, you've seen some of the groups when I was out and such um, on some of my live Instagram videos. Grouping is excellent. The last group I shot with this was a 0.4 um, at 100 yards, obviously, and it just does great. So basically the breakdown is Patriot Predator. Um, I've got the tracked optics, the Toric Ultra HD, which top end is 20 power. I actually dropped it because it was windy. Even with the bags, I was moving a little bit, so I dropped it down to about 15, but the crosshairs are still, even though they're a little thick, they were still um, good enough for me to be able to pinpoint on this prairie dog at about 187. So we're gonna get back to it. Um, I'll have more coming on this here in a minute. We did not get this on video because I was too, I was too geared in on just getting the shot done and getting it taken care of, so. So here we go on the prairie dog. This one's 260 yards and listen to the wind. It's, it's pretty bad. There's a couple guys around him. The hit, he blew up. Those 70 grains are just awesome. Buck the wind and they do it. And I'm putting this out in slow motion. Watch the chunk that flies over his buddy's head on the right. The guy on the right's looking like, uh, what just happened to Joe? You got this guy, which was a headshot. Boom. I mean, that's the accuracy. Their heads are about two inches wide. 106 yards on this guy. Just wiped him out, blew him across. So that was the prairie dog. I had many, many more shots, but I couldn't video. You can see how shaky it was. And that's just the setup. And it, it worked excellent. I mean, I headshot a lot of things, but we saved the skulls. So I tried not to on the last couple. This one's interesting. You're going to see here. This is our coyote hunt. I missed. I flat out missed. I don't know if the range was wrong or what, but I did not dial in properly. But get ready. Coyote gave us a second chance. One of them came running right at us through that little ditch right there, that depression. He's only at 200 yards, popped dude. Out at 200 yards. Now, go. Now. Smoked it. 200 yeah. yards right there. I didn't need to hit shoot again. again. David said do it. Just to make sure, hit him again. So I did. Dead right there. So what was kind of cool is I went live on Instagram when I went out to go pick it up. So I was talking to a whole bunch of you guys on there and it, it was just cool. It was, you know, it was nice having you guys with me while I was walking out to get it, asking questions, you know, checking it out, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to try to do more of this, but also we're going to try to do that live because there's no reason why we couldn't have another camera that was pointed at that angle that was live on Instagram. And I think that would be really cool. But back to the coyote. So that 70 grain bullet really did the job. It hit it. It was, uh, you know, biting at its leg a little bit, which in my experience has shown that that's just a chest shot, which we verified when we brought him back. Uh, the bullet did enter it. It blew up. It did have an exit, but the hole was not super big. But that's the 243, man, pushing those heavier bullets, just going at speeds that are just wicked on coyotes. So you can see right there, the picture with the Mossberg Patriot Predator, and that's the Prairie Enemy Ammo, which is not being made right now. Hopefully it'll come out soon again. This one's cool. This one, if you have a monitor or a TV after you watch this on your phone, go watch it in 4K. So we had these two coyotes that we spotted about a thousand yards out. We ended up parking by some hay bales and did the final stock where we had a pivot, the pivot center and a couple tanks, a fertilizer tank and a water tank between them and us. So David grabbed the camera and the tripod. I grabbed the rifle and we walked all the way out through the snow trying to keep quiet. Now we got set up, David popped out with the camera and we waited. And let me stop real quick. 
you're going to see cars go by on a road back there. That road is a mile plus away. So please, understand depth of field when it comes to videoing. Back to the coyote hunt. So my, my original idea was to shoot the female first. She's the one on the left that's finding a place to, to lay down. Reason being is the male was in a pivot wheel ditch, so he's a little bit lower. Since I was shooting um, from the pivot, the center pivot equipment, I was very low too. But I figured this, on this particular shot, I wanted to get the male. I wanted the male first, and then I figured the sound would be muffled with the snow, so we would get that female either getting up, wondering what's going on, or coming back to check up on him or something. So this is how it all played out. I'm going to drop out so you can watch it. Drop the mail. And then David gives a woof right here. See how she doesn't know? Woof! Boom. I hit her a little far back, but it was a kill shot. But I put another one in just because we wanted to wrap it up. Right there. Mossberg, Patriot Predator, those 70 grain Sierra Blitz Kings. Excellent combo for this kind of stuff. So as we walk out, let me, let me give some thoughts on this rifle. And I, as always, I ask you guys, go head over to our site. Read the full article. You're going to see everything in there. All the targets I showed earlier will be there where you can actually look at them, study them look at everything we we did with this rifle as well as what brought me to the point of requesting this rifle from Mossberg and them sending it to us and us getting behind it and just using it so the Mossberg Patriot Predator in 243 what a great little rifle i mean i have read mixed mixed feelings on this online from people i did my research before i received the rifle I think the majority of people really enjoy their, their rifles, and then there's a, a portion of them that don't. Well, I am going to be linking in the information below, as we go through the shots here of the Coyotes and some other ones, where I did the steps that I normally take when I get a factory rifle, which is basically check everything, go online, check the torque specs for the actual you know rifle that I'm doing, and make sure everything's tight, make sure everything's clean, Make sure everything's functioning well and do all that. Um, it's necessary on every factory rifle you get. I implore you guys to do it. It will take out a lot of little issues that happen to be in mass-produced guns. And I do it on everybody, not just the Mossberg. I do it on everything. Those are the three coyotes from that day. And then this is a Badger that I shot before all this. I was sighting in um, with the ammo, as you guys saw the targets. And I went for a drive, and this guy I spotted, and I believe he was like 260 yards, 240 yards. It's in the article. And then we took it out predator calling. Um, didn't get a chance to shoot any at the stands. This is David back in September. That's how long we've had this. And then there it is, um, the setup that we used when we were predator calling. That is, again, the track Toric with the Mossberg rifle and the Swagger Pod. Let me wrap it up right here with this one prairie dog in awesome Wyoming skies. Head over to the article. Again, read it. My thoughts are in there in full. But this rifle, I felt, is just an excellent shooting rifle. The aesthetics, when you first look at it, aren't great. But you know what? I would not do anything to change this now. Now that I've shot it, the fit and feel and look has really grown on me. So it worked out well. We have more budget rifle reviews and overviews and all that stuff coming up. So stay tuned and head over to varmer.com to read everything. And don't forget to get in on our 25 year anniversary deal. There's info over at our site. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.